This is the two source interference experiment using monochromatic laser light. Monochromatic meaning one colour and therefore one wavelength. We'll be using a red laser. Before I shine the laser light through the double slit, I'll show you the beam on the wall so we'll have something to compare it to. And then I'll put the double slits in front of the laser so that the laser light will shine through those. The double slits are very thin so that they're close to the wavelength of light. That will maximise the amount of diffraction. They are also very close together so that the diffracted light from both slits will overlap and give us an interference pattern and that's what we'll be looking at. So the lights are off now and I've got the laser on. You can see that central spot there on the wall. So it's just a circular spot at the moment. What I'm going to do is put the double slits in front now and we should see the laser being spread out horizontally there, which is what we can see. So it's being spread out horizontally because the slits are vertical and that will cause the diffraction to occur in the horizontal direction. So we can see that. We can't quite see the interference pattern from here so I'm going to take the camera closer so that we can get a better look at the actual interference pattern that is on the wall. So here we are, just focus the camera and you can see that series of bright spots, particularly in the middle, those bright spots, and further out from the centre we can see the arrangement of bright and dark fringes. The central spots are br so bright that they are spreading out a little bit and obscuring the dark fringes in the middle, but further out we can actually see those dark fringes more clearly. So that's the interference pattern, that's because we have two sources of diffracted light overlapping and that we're getting that interference pattern. What's happening is that in some places the light is meeting in phase and constructively interfering and in the dark places it's meeting in antiphase and therefore destructively interfering. That's the two-source interference experiment using monochromatic laser light.